This meeting is being recorded. Leaving menus. Meeting. And I will go ahead and I'll upload this to uh, YouTube also so you guys can refer to this as you need to. Okay, so today it's all about images and how to deal with images. So I'm going to show you different ways, but I'm going to show you the absolutely the most successful way to get the proper image uh, downloaded and inserted into a Word document or a even slides uh, or PowerPoint. Slides is very, very different. That's going to be a totally different lesson because you have to use your X, Y axis. You don't have to do that in uh, PowerPoint. So we're just dealing with how you insert pictures into Word and PowerPoint. And everyone should already automatically know that you can do everything in PowerPoint and then you can upload it to your drive and you can open it in your slides and it instantly becomes a slides with all the power that you were able to use in PowerPoint. There's so many more commands available to us through Office. Right. So, and especially if you're a beginner, oh my gosh, it's just, um, if you want a really sophisticated slide, Google slide, do it in PowerPoint, upload it, open it in slides, then share that with your right. teachers so they can be totally impressed. Okay, so uh, Chrome is problematic with images. Firefox works, Edge works, but today I'm just going to deal with Edge. Uh, and then I'll kind of cue you in on what you can do with Firefox. And you just really need to listen to your JAWS voice as we do it. So I need to quickly make sure I've got my PC cursor before I move. PC. I do. So my uh, Edge is pinned third slot on my taskbar. And if you don't know where yours is attached, you can Windows T, right arrow, and quickly count off. If you don't want to do that, you can hit your start key and just type in Edge. So I'm going to go ahead and do Windows 3 and open my Edge. Everybody, please open your Edge because you're going to follow me uh, with every step. Windows 3. Windows 3, taskbar, selected, about colon blank, app bar, toolbar, address and search bar, edit. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to wait a couple seconds in between each. Now I'm going to type in google.com. G, go, so G, L, so e, select Google, C, O, so M, com, enter. Google dash Microsoft Edge, search region, search edit combo to set the value, use the arrow keys or type the value. And I'm going to hush them up. Now immediately, if I ask uh, what is the next command I need to do, I already know Kim is saying, go to images, go to images. <laughs> so we need to insert F7 and we're going to go to images. Could you tab there also? Yes, you can. But I'm going to go ahead and insert F7. Links list dialog, links list view, yes, <laughs> I for 13. To move the items, use the arrow keys. Okay. And I'm going to hit I for images. I images, 4 of 13. Enter Google dash personal dash Microsoft. <laughs> when item, press the arrow keys. Google images dash Microsoft edge. Search region, search edit. And everything immediately populates. Did someone have a question? I heard someone clear their throat. Did anybody have a question on that? Oh, it's Betsy. It must be me. I, uh, I got him. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and I'll A Betsy if you don't have a question. I tried that. It didn't work. Uh, let me see if I can mute you. Ask the mute button yep. to activate. Press okay. space bar. Now that I've muted you, though, Betsy, <laughs> this I can't unmute you. Uh, but if you sit on, so when you lose focus of a page and you're trying to do a command, you really have to sit on your alt and tab to meeting controls. Then it will allow you to go ahead and do your Google command. images dash Microsoft edge. Okay. So we're back here on edge. I'm in my edit box. So since it's tis the season, I'm going to go ahead and type in Christmas tree and everybody go ahead and do Christmas tree just because you can, I want you to hear the way my computer is interacting with the pictures and then you will know what to listen for when you're doing your own pictures. So let's go ahead and type in Christmas tree. And remember, your computer is always learning from you. So as soon as you start to type in Christmas, it's going to populate uh, all sorts of items below it. You can down arrow and typically find Christmas tree right off. C H R I S T M. Okay, now I'm just going to down arrow. Christ Christmas tree. There it is. And so it automatically populates. If I went down further, I'd hear wallpaper and background and all sorts of other Christmas items. But once again, Christmas tree is the most common item. So it's going to populate first. And I'm going to hit enter. Enter. Search. Search edit combo Christmas tree. Two regions, one heading and 220 links. Christmas tree dash Google search. Link right December. I'm going to go ahead and hush them up. So uh, everybody here, most likely, uh, and those who are not listening, they will quickly learn that our pictures are called graphics. 
So we are going to hit the letter G to our graphic. 23 best artificial Christmas trees for 2020 vertical bars by graphic. And I'm just going to stop at the very first graphic so it makes it pretty easy. And it did say something about 23 artificial Christmas trees for blah, 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 blah. Now, if you do insert space PC, it reads it beautifully, but I'm not going to do that first. And the reason why is because it immediately loses focus of your graphic. And I really want us to focus on how do you download these or copy them off really easily. So the next step is we want to route our cursor and all of us should be in laptop mode. So if you put your pointer finger on your caps lock and then your remember your left bracket is the key immediately to your P to the right of your P. So I'm going to do caps lock left bracket to route my cursor. Jaws to PC. So I have jaws to PC. We are not done yet because what happens is it routes the cursor to the bottom left-hand corner and we don't have the ability to do um, our proper applications key on here. So you need to listen and I need to listen first too and I'm gonna tell you what's happening. If you write, and it's right arrow five times, but don't hit that yet because if you hear blank, then you have to up arrow once first. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hit my right arrow one time and I'm gonna listen. Blank. blank. So I know I need to up arrow once. Now, the reason why it says blank is because typically there's an ad or a product or something like that that's trying to get you to buy that. So now I'm gonna up arrow once before I write arrow. So I'm gonna up arrow once. 23 best artificial Christmas trees for 2020 vertical bars by Amazon.com. Now, it immediately goes into awesome. our wonderful Jaws deep voice. Now I'm gonna hit right arrow five times. Two, three, space, B. Okay. Now, the, re the reason why I've selected five, even though visually sometimes it gets in there three times, I've done this enough times to know something that's consistent on every single picture. So if you right arrow here blank, I know I need to up arrow one time, which actually pops you past that tiny little ad that says, you know, product or buy or something. And I know if I hit right arrow five times, it will get me into the picture. Now, interestingly, hitting right arrow five times does not move you to the right. It moves you up. It's just how the pixels in the picture work. Now, at this point, everybody hit your applications key and you're going to down arrow and see everything is there. Copy image. Uh, applications menu, 23 best artificial image. Christmas trees for 2020. And as you down arrow, you're going to listen to the hot key. Whoa, this is confusing. Okay, so do if you did you hit your applications key, Kim? Yeah, but it's different. I'm trying to follow along. Okay, you know what? We're going to do this like eight to ten times in this. So if you didn't get it the first time, Kim, don't worry. We're going to do it over and over and over. This again. is web context menu. Okay, so you didn't quite get into your picture yet. Okay, don't worry about it. We're gonna do it again. Just, just hang with me. Uh, everybody else is just down arrowing and you should hear open link and new tab. I'll just down arrow so you can hear mine. Web context menu, open link and new tab. So oh. Web context menu is correct, Kim. Open link and new window, oh. And keep down arrowing, you're gonna hear open link. Keep going down until you hear. And go open link in the private window, save link as S. Copy link C, open image and new tab, oh. Save image as S. And their save image as is S and down arrow again. Copy image C. Copy image. So those are the two big ones, save image as and copy image. So my guess is you're hearing it now, Kim, correct? No, I'm at copy link. Copy link. Perfect. Open Keep going. Tab. You got it. Keep down arrowing. Copy. See that? You did yeah. it flawlessly. You did it flawlessly. Okay. So Kimmy. Uh, go ahead, alt tab to your meeting controls. Oh, I'm gonna no, don't, don't go off of it. I will mute you, okay? Okay. Okay. Leaving menus, ask the unmute okay. button to activate press space bar. Now, that was absolutely perfect. Now, uh, because I had to take, uh, I had to go off my link in order to mute her, I have, have to come back to my page and we're gonna do Christmas tree dash Google search dash Microsoft where you guys were. 23 best okay. artificial Christmas tree. Okay, now everybody hit escape and get out of that. Okay, because we're going to keep doing this 
uh, so you guys can hear all the different ways your graphics are going to read so you can be prepared for everything. Let's go ahead and hit G again. Amazon.com colon 6.5 Balsam Hill Blue Spruce Artificial okay. Crisp. And you heard mine said Amazon.com blah, 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 Blue Spruce. Now, what's also nice is these are pretty descriptive. Uh, so if they are not, and this time I'm going to actually do my insert space PC to read it. Just realize I'm going to have to go back to my correct graphic. So let me do insert space. I'm sitting on my caps lock doing space. Then I'm going to hit P, then I'm going to hit C. Space, P, picture smart. Picture smart is in progress. And it's spot on. Always. Heading level two caption is a close up of a tree. Heading level three, these tags describe the photo Christmas. Christmas tree plant tree. Heading level three, these tags probably describe the photo balsam fir. Colorado spruce, conifer yeah. spruce. Heading level three. Really great. Now, when we actually go to Word and we do this, it never gets it. <laughs> but on here, on this site, so you can truly, using your insert space PC, it does a phenomenal job. Picture Smart does a phenomenal job of reading what pictures you are in. So once again, this is, I'm showing you the 100% guaranteed, this is going to get you a great picture of exactly what you want. Now I'm gonna hit escape and get out of my picture smart. Escape, amazon.com. Okay. Now I already know I have to hit G to go forward a graphic and then shift G back to get to the graphic that I wanna be at. G again. History of Christmas tree stash history graphic. Okay, there's my history. Now, if I wanted to go back, I'm gonna shift G. Amazon.com colon 6.5 okay. Balsam Hill Blue Spruce Got Artifact. That. Now, let's go ahead and go through the process of routing our cursor to see if it's going to be a consistent right arrow five times or that we have to go up arrow again. So I'm gonna sit on my caps lock and left bracket bracket, which literally is moving. So if you guys don't know this, it's literally moving your mouse to your picture. So caps lock left bracket. Jaws to PC. Okay. And once again, I'm going to hit right arrow one time and I need to listen to what it's going to tell me. Blank. Blank. As soon as it says blank, I know I need to go up arrow once. 23 best artificial Christmas trees for 2020 now, vertical bars by amazon.com. Push them up, right arrow five times. A, M, A, Z, O. Now I'm hoping you guys Oscar. realize as soon as it starts telling you letters or numbers, you're good to go. So here we are. So everybody hit your applications key and down arrow until you hear your save image as or copy. Applications menu, amazon.com, okay. web, open link, save link, copy link, open image, and save image as 7 of 13. Save S. Image as. Copy image, 8 of 13. There's C. copy image. So just go down, find that. So you know, you two did it perfectly. And we're gonna to get to some of the pictures where it's just gonna be so flawlessly easy. You don't even have to listen to that blank, okay? So I'm gonna hit escape and get out. Escape, leaving menus, Christmas tree. Dash. Now, make sure. Check again. Uh, where are you, Kim? Christmas tree, Google search, personal my Christmas. Okay, I heard it, Christmassy. Search, link graphic, this applications, banner region, search, Christmas tree, Google search, link graphic, December holidays, search, Christmas tree, search my image button, Google search button. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Great. Yeah, you're in your Google search. So you have to, uh, so. 23 best artificial December. There you go, 20, perfect. You've got it. Okay, now route your cursor to it. Escape, leaving menus, Christmas tree, Google search, Microsoft. Okay, you were right there, Kimmy. Hit G again. 23 best December holidays. G again. 6.5 Balsam Hill Blues. Perfect. Now stop. Caps lock, left bracket. Already did. Right arrow, uh, up arrow once. 23 best artificial Christmas tree. Okay, that's the 23, but that's fine. You can do that one also. So just route your cursor, caps lock, left bracket. Pause the PC. Now, right arrow once, you're gonna hear blank. Okay. And now up arrow. Once. Best artificial Christmas trees for 2020s by Amazon.com. 6.5 Balsam Hill Blue Spruce. Okay, Art. you're there. Okay. So uh, you need to route your cursor to that though. Caps lock left bracket. Is Ravina here? Jaws to PC. Okay, let's focus on this, please. Right arrow one time. Up arrow once. 23 best artificial Christmas. Now, tree. right arrow five times. A -M -A -Z -O. Perfect. Now, applications key. Applications, context menu. Now, down arrow. Open link in a private save. Perfect. Link. Link. Open Perfect. Link. Flawless. Save. There. Okay. I got it. 
Excellent. Thank you. Okay, I will mute you so you don't. From the panel, Kyle to me, okay. made it. Mute button to activate. Okay. Press space bar. Ask really for a nice. mute button. Christmas okay. tree dash Google search. Now, dash let me uh, regain focus. So let me hit my G again. 23 best are Amazon.com okay. colon six point. Let's do it again because now we're going to get to one that's really, really easy. G again. History of Christmas trees dash history okay. graphic. History of graphic of uh, Christmas trees. Once again, route your cursor, caps lock, left bracket. Jaws to PC. Okay. Now, hit your right arrow one time. H. Perfect. H. Hotel. That's what we want to hear. I. S. And T just make sure o. you hit it four more times. Oscar. So truly, what you could do is if you hit right arrow and you forget that you have to hit up arrow before you hit right arrow, just go back to your PC cursor and hit G again and move forward. Now, uh, we can hit our applications key here and it's going to be applications menu, history of Christmas absolutely trees. Absolutely perfect. I'm going to applications key and web copy, open link, save link, copy link, five okay. open, save image as. I need to save an image as yes. because, of course, I need to show you how to. Uh, Insert this. So I'm going to save image on this tree. Enter. Leaving menus. Save as dialog. File okay. name colon edit combo. Dumb. And if you haven't saved one yet, then let's go ahead and all From save Kimberly it together. To everyone, so I'm going to type C-A-R-I-S-E-M-A-S. -E -E. -E -E. Now I'm going to Alt D and I'm going to type in because I'm going to listen to where I'm at, but rarely are you in your pictures if this is the first time you've gone to do this. So I'm going to Alt D. I'm going to type in P-I-C. I'm going to down arrow to my pictures. Because remember, anything that's uh, built by default in your libraries, we're talking desktop, downloads, pictures, videos, all of those are automatically built as a default. You can Alt-D and start taping the name of it. So I literally live within Alt-D and Alt-N. Now, I already typed in my name, Christmas tree, so I don't have to go back down there, but I'm going to Alt-D. Three alt progress bar address edit combo downloads the value arrow. use the arrow. I don't want to be there. P -I, I C. I'm gonna down arrow because I know all my defaults populate. Pick pictures. There's my pictures. I'm gonna hit enter to force my picture. Enter address colon pictures toolbar all locations split button. All my pictures are open now. All I have to do is all S and Christmas tree is now saved in my pictures file. Alt S alert download complete colon Christmas tree dot fifth press F. So, and we're going to download a couple Christmas trees uh, just so you can um, get a hang of it. Now, uh, insert tab and listen to where you're at. So I'm going to caps lock tab. History of Christmas trees dash history graphic. I am. I do want, and I like to, even though I'm hearing my PC cursor, you know what? I just don't really trust JAWS. So I'm just going to caps lock semicolon insert uh, PC cursor. The Daniel Kyle has left the meeting. Okay. Virtual PC. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit G for my next graphic. Beachcrest Home, Norwood Fir Green Spruce Artificial Christmas Tree with White Lights and Reviews. Okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and route our cursor to this. Caps lock left bracket. Jaws to PC. And we're going to right arrow one time and listen. Blank. Blank. So we need to know, we know we need an up arrow. 23 best artificial Christmas trees for dot 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 6.5 thousand bill blue spruce artificial dot. Right arrow five times. A, C. H C No, R. it's actually spelling out Romeo. Beach Crest. So I'm not even there. You know what? I don't even want to deal with that. So I'm going to go back to my PC cursor, caps lock, semicolon. Virtual PC. And I'm going to hit G for my next graphic. The seven best places to buy a Christmas tree in okay. 2020. So if you're not getting the feedback you know you need to have for it, just move to the next graphic, which we did. So we're going to caps lock left bracket. J and we're going to go ahead and, and I think my jaws just popped off of that. Let me hit G again. Feature only available in virtual document. Yeah, it did. Caps lock, semicolon. Virtual PC. And so if your jaws just popped off any place along the line, you just have to caps lock, semicolon. And I did the same thing. I kept saying virtual in uh, document. Yeah. Feature only available in virtual document. I had to close and reopen my browser. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is caps lock semicolon. You just need to get your PC cursor back. That's it. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe that picture is in particularly problematic, but if no one else had the issue, technology is technology. It's, it and, is what it is. And plus, can you slow down? You're going really fast. Okay. Don't worry, Kimmy. I am recording this so you can listen oh. to this also. Okay. But go ahead and just hit G to get to your next graphic. But just know when it says no form fields, Either your virtual cursor is off or your PC cursor popped on. In order to do these commands, we want both on. So we're going to go ahead and hit G again. How to decorate a Christmas tree like a professional graphic. 
Yeah. Now I'm actually going to go to the next one. Christmas tree fire safety tips colon here's what you need to know dash CNN graphic. Yeah, because this is how phenomenal our picture smart is. Okay, so I'm going to insert space PC. Space P picture smart picture smart is in progress. Heading level two caption is a living room. Heading level three is tag describe the photo Christmas Christmas tree. Heading level three is tag probably describes the photo living. Heading level three is tag vaguely describes the photo table. Link more results. Escape. Yeah, that is perfect. Christmas tree. It is a Google search Christmas, Christmas tree. tree in a living room. Uh, and so it just did such a phenomenal job. So I'm going to hit G, it moves it past it, and then I'm going to shift G and back. 23 best artificial Christmas trees for 2020 vertical bars by graphic. Uh, that's not where I want to be. Amazon.com, oh, yeah, colon 6.5, history of Christmas trees, Beechcrest home, nor with the seven best places how to decorate a Christmas tree fire safety tips, okay. colon here. That's where I know I left off is Christmas tree fire safety tips. And so these do explain it very well, as you guys already are seeing as you're moving through. So once again, I'm going to caps lock left bracket. Jaws to PC. I'm going to hit my right arrow five times. H One, two, three, I four, five. And you're noticing it says Angle. letters. As soon as you hit your right arrow and it doesn't say blank or anything like that, you know it's going to be easy the rest of the way. Once again, five right arrows actually moves you up and into the picture. So now I'm going to hit my applications key. Applications menu, Christmas tree, fire safety tips. Cool. And I'm actually going to go down to copy image. So now we're going to go ahead and open PowerPoint and we're going to input an image. So wherever you are at, I want you to go ahead and hit your applications key and down arrow to copy image. Webcon, open link in, save link as, copy link, five open image and new, save image as, copy image, eight of 13, C. Okay. And at that point, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and that's going to uh, add that to my clipboard. Enter, leaving menus, enter. Christmas tree, dash Google search. Okay. Dash. Go ahead and leave your site open because we will, are going to come back here. And now everybody hit your start key and type in PPT and let's open PowerPoint. Search box edit, type in tech, PPT, Power, P, PowerPoint app, press right to switch preview, PPT, enter. Opening dash PowerPoint, list box PowerPoint, backstage view, blank present. Uh, if you have a backstage view, you can either hit enter or escape to get into a blank document. Escape, spell check, MDI client, multiple document interface, client window, ready, no selection to select. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make this nice and festive. So at this point, if everybody hits their applications key, you can either down arrow to background or you can hit B for background, but I'm going to hit my applications key. Applications, use destination theme button to move to an item, press the arrow keys, H. Okay, and uh, I'm going to up arrow, so I'm going to go the long way. Menu, new format, background, dot, 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 B. Okay, and it tells you, though, if you hit your applications key and B for background, it's now going to allow us to choose a background color for this slides. Now, I'm going to give you both features for 365 and regular. We're always going to do regular first. So if you don't have 365, which doesn't give you as many options, but this is a regular option no matter what office you are using. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter on format background. Enter, leaving menus, slide one, one of one, no selection to select an object, press tab, fill button selected to move to an fill item. Fill button is what you're going to hear. So you're going to tab one time. Fill button checked to activate, press space bar. Now, you can tab more, and you're going to hear solid fill. You can down arrow through all your radio buttons. But once you tab one time, you can hit the letter C to immediately open all your colors. So hit the letter C. C. Table, automatic button selected to move to an item, press the arrow keys, Alt plus A. Now, we're going to use our primary colors. So we're going to up arrow three times into your primary colors, and you're going to hear green. So up arrow. Eyedropper button to move more colors, dot, green button to move green. to an item, press the arrow keys, A. Okay. Now at this point, you can left and right and whatnot, but I'm just going to hit enter on green. So for right now, hit enter on green, and it's going to turn everything green. Enter, slide one, one to one, no selection to select an object, press tab. For, uh, for ease, we're just going to tab to apply to all. Transparency, left, right, slider, zero, to transparency, edit, spin box. Yeah, and then the transparency, if you ever wanted to make these colors lighter, instead of using the slide, just tab to the uh, percentage, and the higher percentage that you go, the lighter the background color will be, just so you know that. I'm not going to change any of that. I'm going to continue to tap to apply to all. Apply to all button to activate, press space bar, L. Space bar. Space, slide one, one to one, okay. no selection to select an object, press tab, L. Now, what we want to do is we want to close Enter. this. 
So we're going to control space and C to close our navigation region. Control space menu move to move through items. Press C. Leaving menu slide one one to one. No selection okay. to select. Now everybody should be back to their slide. And when we tab, we're going to hear click to add title, sub placeholder, or something like that. Center title placeholder. There you go. Center title placeholder. So we're just going to type C A R I S T M A S C R A N D A A O L I D A Y S. Holidays, because we'll do a Hanukkah in here. We'll get a candle, candelabra, etc. Okay. So once you type in your title, hit Escape twice to get out of your placeholder. Escape, op, escape, no selection to select an object. So once you escape fully out of that, which takes twice, you're gonna now you can tab twice to your subtitle placeholder. Center title placeholder, subtitle placeholder. Okay, and at this point, I'm going to type in B I. I. I'm going to hit I enter. T E A C A E R. Teacher. Okay, or your name. So, uh, and you always want to put your name in that. Put by on a line by itself, and then your full name by itself. Hit escape tries to get out. Escape. Escape. Okay. Now, if you have 365, what is so nice is you have a use arrow key to navigate and press tab for more. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of my participant. Uh, Ready presentation. Participant uh, pop up there. What's so nice if you have 365 is it does not matter how you design this. You can even paste a picture directly in the middle of this, and your design ideas will actually completely straighten it out. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. I want everybody to create a new slide with Control M. Think more. If you do an M, you're going to create a whole new presentation. We don't want to do that. We're going to go more, control M for another slide. No selection to select an object. Press tab, slide two. And what's also nice is JAWS gives us all this phenomenal uh, background information. Excuse me, I have a question. Yes. Even though um, for, am I, are people, I mean, am I allowed to, leave this meeting or do I have to stay on for the whole thing? Oh no, you can leave anytime you want, Kim. Oh, because it's oh, yeah. an hour? Yes, yeah, you can leave anytime and just know uh, I will upload this to YouTube and we see you every week also, yes. so we can help you understand this more. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. So uh, when you first do a control Amber, M, just left the meeting. it's always one content. So once again, if you hit your applications key and hit L to layout, we're going to change this to two content. So application use key, destination theme button to move L title and content L button to selected to move to an item. Press the arrow keys. And you heard title and content. If you always move to the left, you're going to hear title slide. Title slide button. And if you go down, you're going to hear two content. Two content button. And hit enter, and it immediately gives you two content. The reason why you want two content is typically teachers want a title. They want you to write something about a picture. So you need one content placeholder for writing something. And then the next content is about the picture. If that's where you're gonna insert your picture, that's what we're gonna do, hit enter. Enter, presentation one dash PowerPoint, slide two. So I'm gonna tab once to the title. Title placeholder. I'm type in tree. T-R-E-E. -E. I'm gonna hit escape twice. Escape, pop escape, no selection to select an. I'm gonna tab twice because remember, we placed uh, something in our uh, clipboard and we're gonna paste it now. Title placeholder. Object placeholder. Okay. Always have your object placeholder selected before you insert and before you paste. So now I'm going to control V. Pasted object placeholder. Okay. Christmas tree fire. Use destination theme button perfect. selected. It flawlessly inserts it. If you have placeholders, it will flawlessly insert it. Now, if you increase the size, it will move it to the right and it will move it down. And then it becomes more problematic to position it correctly. So get your picture, insert it, and leave it alone. Because when you go into presentation mode with F5, it will blow that picture up for you. So leave that alone. But we need to alt text this. So hit your applications key. Applications. And my applications key doesn't want to work. So let me hit escape once, because I probably have um, in a paste option box. Escape, three slides, two of two, object, place, hold, application, uh -huh. menu, cut, to move through items, press up or down arrow key. key. And edit alt text is A, but if you don't have 365, you need to up arrow until you hear alt text or edit alt text. New comment, format, pick, size, and position, edit alt text, dot, 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 and A, enter. enter, leaving menus, edit, type in text. Okay, let's hear what it says. Generate a description for me, but the description edit, you need to know dash CNN, type in text. Oh my gosh, it's totally misreading everything. Let me do an insert down arrow. You need to know dash CNN. Oh, that is what it says. Oh, that is really interesting. 
Christmas tree fire safety tips here colon, here's what. Uh, so uh, I would do a control A and type in Christmas tree in lodge because of course my insert space PC told me that it was a Christmas tree in a living room or that's what I would have typed, okay? So then when you move around, because if you do not alt text it and you move around, you're gonna hear object and you won't know that is actually a picture. So I'm gonna do a control A. Selected Christmas tree fire T-R-E-E tree I-N-L-I-V-I-N-G live R-O-O-M. Living room, okay? And at that point, you need to close your navigation pane. So control space and C to close. Control space, men C, leaving menus, three slides, two of two, up. And then of course, you're gonna to tab to uh, your other placeholder. Title placeholder, level one, three. Object placeholder. Okay, and that one's empty, so. T-R-E-E-S-A-R-E-R-N-I-C-E. -E -E -E. Okay, and this is where all your bullets come in. Make sure you use title case when you first start typing them. Okay, so now let's go ahead and insert. So now you know how to copy and paste. Let's go ahead and insert. So we're going to control M again for more. No selection to select an object. Press tab. Slide. Now, if you did a layout of two content, that is going to automatically generate every single slide thereafter. So if you need to change it to one content, which we're going to do in order to insert a picture, you need to do that right now. So applications, P and L. Applications, use the L2 content button selected to move okay. to an item. Title slide button, title and content Fire button. Arrow. Enter presentation one dash PowerPoint, slide three, three of. Tab. Title placeholder. And we're gonna type in tree. T R E E. And we're gonna escape price. Escape, op escape, no selection to select tab. an object. Swipe. Press tab, title, object placeholder. Okay. Here we are, our object placeholder. Now we're going to Alt N to our insert, P to our pictures, Alt N. Alt N, upper ribbon, 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 tab E, menu, leaving menus, this device, dot, 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 to move through items, press up or down arrow, Alt followed by N, P, D. So we're gonna do this device first. So go ahead and hit enter. Enter, leaving menus, leaving ribbons, insert picture dialog, file name, colon, edit combo, to set the. Once again, I know I placed this in my pictures folder. So I'm going to Alt D, Type in PIC, down arrow to pictures, and hit enter to force it open. Alt D, address edit combo, dot E, I, C, pick pictures. Enter. Enter. Toolbar all locations, okay. split button, use the arrow keys to move through. You could tab around to your list view, but you do not need to. I'm going to Alt N down to my file name. Alt N, file name, colon, edit combo, to set C, H, start typing in R -I Christmas tree. Chris, 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 word, Christmas, Christmas tree, dot fifth. And then you can just down arrow to it as soon as you start typing it. And I've passed all my other Chris's and hit enter. Enter. Three slides, three of three. Object placeholder, okay. object placeholder. A picture containing tree, outdoor, conifer, forest description automatically yep. generated. It auto so it automatically generated Object it, placeholder, a picture and containing it's a perfect tree. perfect little picture right in the middle of my slide. Now, if you have 365, you can alt G to your design, D to your design ideas. Or if you just got in here, typically it's already open. And if you hit F6, you can hear if it's open. So I'm going to hit F6. F6, turn off design ideas for this session. Link. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to keep my design ideas. So I want to go ahead and down arrow. Recommended design colon design idea one of nine. To move okay. to an item, press the arrow keys. You can choose any of these. And of course, it's always just a big guess on what to do. But you know what? You can choose the first one and you're good. So if for the first slide, you're choosing the first one, go down to the second one for the second slide, go down to the next one for the third slide. So it actually will give different design features. They're all beautifully labeled, uh, excuse me, not labeled, beautiful pictures and layouts. I'm going to down here one more time. Design idea. And I'm going to hit enter. And that's pretty much what it says, design idea. That's it. So it's not giving enough feedback. Yes, Office has some more work to do on that. I'm going to hit enter in order to change my design. Enter. Three slides. Three of three. Object okay. placeholder. A picture containing tree. Outdoor. Conifer. Forest description automatically yeah. generated. Object placeholder overlap. And it does. And it's going to tell you that it over overlaps lines because these design ideas have extra features within them. They have lines and designs. And so you're going to hear that. So once you use your design ideas, you need to walk away from that slide. Otherwise, it's going to be incredibly confusing. Now, once you insert it, what it does is it pops you out of your design ideas. So you don't have to shift F6 to get back or anything like that. So I'm gonna hit escape. I'm gonna... Escape, object, placeholder, a picture containing tree, outdoor, kind of. Now I'm gonna control M to a new slide. No selection to select an object. And once again, the background automatically turns to green because I told it to apply to all. So you don't have to use your design ideas on every single feature. So now we're going to uh, actually utilize 
your insert picture options directly off your insert key. If you do not have 365, it's going to be Alt N F for your inserting of your pictures. But I have 365, so it's still going to be Alt N. What is 365? Alt N, upper ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. App. Oh, question? What's 365? 365 is the most sophisticated office. And okay. it offers all these design ideas. It offers auto formatting for you. So the advantage of 365 is truly a blind person can uh, do any program as sophisticated as any sighted person without any help whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, so Office 365, very, very advantageous. So um, it's, it's mm -hmm. worth it. Mm -hmm. It's worth class is gonna, this lesson is going to be on the YouTube after. Yes, it is. Right. Yeah, yeah. So great questions. Yeah, 365, totally worth it. Uh, everything before this, it's kind of like what I said about the pictures. If you tried to increase that size of that tree and some of the pictures that you actually insert are not that great. I mean, they're really, really small, but you never have to worry about it if you're using Office 365. There's always a feature within the program to fix everything for you. So excellent question, Finn, really great. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and insert this. And once again, if you're not using 365, it's gonna be Alt N F, but there, once you get there, it's gonna be the same. So I'm gonna hit P, P menu, even menu. you're gonna hit F and you're gonna down arrow and it's gonna say something like stock images or online picture. We're gonna go stock down. Stock images, online picture, dot, 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 followed by N, P, O. Enter. enter, leaving menus, insert picture, dialog, insert picture, custom control, no selection. Okay, now when online pictures opens, you are in the edit box. Sometimes you have to enter, most of the time you don't, but I'm gonna go ahead and start hitting H and see what my jaw says. H. Yeah, I'm good. A -N. On, oh, I did Hanukkah, Hanukkah. And enter. enter. Insert picture dialogue. Okay. Custom control. So, uh, is in three six, results found. Yep. So it tells me how many results I've found. This the in, the picture smart does not work well. Um, so it's kind of a walk of faith, and I always tell kids do a great search and just pick the first picture. And uh, sure, and all of these are are most of them are candelabras of Hanukkah. Um, so all the candles uh, because it's going to generate the most common. Uh, item. And so if you're not using 365, you actually have to tab into, and you're going to tab into it until it says one of three, uh, 30, uh, one of 60, 36, or whatever, one of 60. So you have to tab into it. But once you're into it, you're just going to hit enter because you have to select it. Now, if you wanted to move, uh, like if you had a sighted person with you and they say, oh, go, go to the third picture, go to the third picture. So I'm just going to do that just so you can see the different options. Blank. And don't, uh, yep, I love that. So I'm going to, and I heard blank. So I'm going to tab one time. Custom control. Custom, yeah. As soon as I hear custom control, I know that's wrong. Results list view randomly reading colon Saturday roundup number five colon the Nuka edition one of 90. Perfect. To move to an item, press the arrow keys. Yep, press the arrow keys. Now I know I can move. More actions button to activate, press space bar. So the more actions has to do with that particular graphic. And if you hit space, space bar. Space report it, button to activate, press space yeah, bar. It just tells you the size of it and, uh, you know, randomly reading and report. So don't go to that option. It tells you it does no good. So I'm going to hit escape. escape. More actions button to activate. Press space I'm going to continue to write arrow. And it moves me to the next picture. Uh, and sometimes it will read to me, sometimes it don't. Once again, it's this is not one of the best ways. If you just need to get something in there really, really quickly, you can type it out. And once again, like I said, uh, 365 lands you to the very first picture uh, and you can just hit enter on it and select it. Now, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go left arrow back. More actions, randomly reading colon Saturday roundup number five colon Hanukkah edition. One of it has nothing to do with happy Hanukkah and all the candles. It's a nice graphic. Once again, do a good search, pick the first graphic. I'm gonna hit enter on it and select enter, it. Enter, randomly reading okay. colon Saturday round. And then you're gonna tab to insert. Insert left pair and one right pair button to activate press space bar. And I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna tell you sometimes you hit space bar and that's not true, and, but I know enter always works. Enter, slide four, 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 object okay. placeholder, object placeholder overlaps top edge of text box, object placeholder, yeah. object place. Automatically inserts it perfectly. Now, once again, if you don't have 365, it's going to, you're gonna just need to leave the graphic alone. 
Uh, but I do have 365, so I'm going to hit F6 to immediately go over to my design idea. F6, design idea, two of nine. To move to an item, press and the arrow key. Design idea. Design idea. And I love how my JAWS is acting up now. So I'm going to tab once. Design idea. Okay, let's F6 again. F6, toolbar, spell check, no errors button. Press F6, up F6, slide thumbnails tab, leaving menus, slide thumbnails. four. Thumbnails, oh yeah. So while I'm at thumbnails, if you're in your slide view, you shift F6 to here. What's really handy about this is let's say you need to move your slides around. So maybe I want Happy Hanukkah to go first. I can control X. Cut, three slide. And I'm going to up arrow. Three slide. And I'm going to control V to paste it. Slide three. So that's how easy theme button. it is to move your slides around. And you also heard how easy it was. Control X immediately erased it. I could delete it out of here also. But once again, my JAWS was acting up. So when I hit my Shift F6, I was moving around backwards in my, uh, in my window. And now I'm going to hit F6 to move forwards. Actually, I was using F6 before. F6 again. F6. Wow. I just love, and it's probably, and I'm going to tell you, if you're in a Zoom meeting, it will negatively affect uh, your jaws also. So I'm going to insert tablets to where I'm at. Slide three, use destination theme button selected yeah. to move so to an item, press the arrow. Me, me, moving me perfectly into my slide view. F6. And it doesn't, so I'm just going to hit escape twice. Just escape. Okay, and I'm at tab. Wow, and I am frozen. F6, slide area, no selection to there select an object, press tab. Slide area. So once again, when you bump into little hiccups like that, don't, don't fret. You hit escape, get out, try to F6 around again. Okay, F6, again to my design idea. F6, design idea, five of nine. To move there to an go. item, press the arrow keys. Five of nine, now he's talking to me, I love that. Five of nine is probably absolutely perfect, so I have no problem with that. I'm gonna hit enter on it. Enter, design idea. And it immediately changes my uh, slide area, and it should move me, should, operative word here, immediately back to my slide view. So I'm gonna tab. Yep, and my jaws is frozen again, so I'm gonna hit escape twice. Escape, escape. Okay, and then tab again. Rectangle, rectangle overlaps top edge of group and is covered by group and is covered by title placeholder and is yeah. Now remember what I told you about your design. Once it changes your design, it's going to tell you about all the items because it's graphical. It's uh, swirlies and designs and it's going to tell you there's extra rectangles over it. So you just need to get comfortable with all the extra feedback that it's going to give you. Group, group is covered by rectangle and is covered okay. by group and is covered by title placeholder and is covered by object placeholder. Yeah, I thought you love that. And I could continue to tab around it to each free form. graphic. Group is covered by rectangle and is covered free form. Group is covered by rectangle. Free form. Free form. Group is covered by free rectangle forms. and is free form. Group okay. is covered. So once again, once you insert it, just leave it alone. Okay. And then control M. No selection to select an object. Okay, so those are really the basics of how to deal with graphics and PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and go into Word now so you get a feel of how Word is going to work with your graphics. So we're going to Alt F4. I'm not going to save mine. Alt F4. Alt F4. File name edit. Alt Christmas and holiday. N. Type in text. Alt N. Okay, and I'm back to my Christmas pictures. Now, my Christmas Word is attached search. to the fifth slot, so I'm going to do Windows 5 to open my Word. You guys can hit your Start key and type in Word if you're not sure where it's pinned on your taskbar. So, Windows 5. Windows 6, leaving ribbons, task Oops. switcher, list box, zoom. Windows Windows 6. Six. So I'm so glad I hit 6 because Windows 5 is JAWS. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, humans. Okay, hit Escape or Enter to go into a blank document. Escape. Edit. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is let's get some text in here like you've done a lot of writing. And a quick, quick way to do that is you're gonna do equal sign, RAND, R-A-N-D, left parent, right parent, and then hit enter, which is instantly going to go ahead and insert six paragraphs with three sentences. Okay, let's do this. Equals, Equals. R-A-N-D, RAND, left, right parent. Okay, and hit enter. enter. And it automatically inserts a whole bunch of text. So I'm going to control home to get my cursor back to the top. Top video provides a powerful way to help you. I'm push them up. Now I'm going to control down arrow as if you wrote something very important and then you needed to connect a picture to that paragraph. So control down arrow. To make your document look professional. Okay. And I'm going to hit enter to move that next paragraph down so I can up arrow. Janet's iPad has left the meeting. Until it says blank. Janet's iPad. Enter. Enter. And up arrow once. Blank. And it says blank. So now, if it center this, so the picture is automatically going to come out centered. So control E. Centered. Do you have to? No. It totally depends on how you're lining this up. So once again, I could paste the picture in that I have in my clipboard. 
Happy Hanukkah. Oh my gosh, it's ginormous. I don't want that. When you paste, you're never really sure how large items are. So I'm going to control Z. I do, I do. And I'm going to go ahead and go into my insert menu, just like I did in PowerPoint to insert a picture. So Alt N. Alt N, upper ribbon, ribbon. Now, I'm 365, so I'm exclusively a P for picture. In anything else, it is P for picture, but if you want clip art, you're gonna have to do F. So you're gonna wanna go to F, because that's where we're going right now, but I have to hit P to get there. P, menu, leaving menus, this device, dot, 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 to move, stock images, and dot, 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 all, online pictures, dot, 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 all followed by N, P, O. Pictures and hit N. Leaving menus, leaving ribbons, insert picture, dialogue, okay. insert picture, custom control. And here we are. So I can type in Christmas tree. S T M A S T R. Bob Jackie family. And I love how it's Alt F4, edit. Got to spell it correctly. So if I totally goof, I just get out and then get back in. Alt F. Alt N, upper ribbon, 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 tab, T, menu, leaving menus, this device, dot, 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 stock in, online pictures, leaving menus, leaving ribbons, insert pictures. Trees, I'm just going to type in tree. T R E E. And hit enter. Results list view not selected file colon tree logo dot png dash wikimedia commons. On okay, so it said tree logo. Well, that's great for embossing. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I'm going to right arrow one time. More actions button to active not selected file colon peeler oak tree dash distance photo may 2013.jpg oh, dot 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 two of 90. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter on that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just tell you it doesn't always give you that good of feedback. I'm going to hit enter to select that picture. File colon peeler oak tree dash distance. And I'm going to tab to insert. Insert left parent one right parent and button to act. Edit. Downloading. Okay. Downloading picture one to one dot dot dot. Cancel button. Now, Table. In you line need with text to button. find Table. out. Hold on. I got to hit escape out of my page. Escape. Button. Document. You need to find out how large this picture is. So as soon as you insert a picture, you're going to alt JP to your picture, picture format. And you're going to hit the letter H for your height. Let's go ahead and do that. Alt Upper ribbon, ribbon tab, J, P. J, P. And then H for your height. H, size, shape, height, edit, spin box, 5.47, quote, alt, okay. followed by J, P, H. And if I tab, I'm going to hear the width is probably something around just as large. But you have to remember, this is an 8 by 11 piece of paper. You want your images to be around 2.5, 3 point, something like that. So I already know this is way too large. So I'm going to do 2.5. 2, J, P, H, 2, 5. And then I'm going to tab to my width to listen. Shape width edit spin box 6.5 quote alt followed by JPW okay. 6.5 quote. Same thing. So I'm going to do 2, two period three, five, 5 leaving four, menus leaving ribbons edit group object table and line with text button selected picture. table and line. Yeah. When we hit our control key our paste options opens which is really really annoying. 2.5 is still pretty large but it's a whole lot better than a picture that literally took up the whole piece of paper. Now, once again, you're going to want to alt text this. So hit your applications. Applications menu set as default to move through okay. items. Press up or down arrow. That, that means your paste options are still open. So I'm going to hit escape. escape. Leaving menus table. Escape. escape. Document again. one. Edit. Group. Escape. Okay. Now, if you lose focus of your picture, you're going to control shift right arrow. Group object comma picture Reset. two comma this photo. Take applications this menu set as default oh, to move through. Okay. Escape. Leave escape. Document that one. Edit. Group object really picture two. This applications menu cut to problematic. Okay, so applications key and up arrow to edit all text. Format, more layout, edit all text, dot, 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 A. And enter. Leaving menus, document one dash word, all text, description, edit, T. I'm R. just going to type in tree. E. -E. Okay. And then once you type that in, you want to close your navigation region. So control space and C to close. Control space, men C, leaving menus, document one, edit, group object. Okay. Now table, the next line thing with text, you want to do, oh boy, yep, his escape, dot escape. Is you want to actually wrap this. So once again, I, because I escaped completely out of my picture, I'm going to reselect it, applications key, and W to wrap it. So then that you can actually tell the, the text how to wrap it. Can you leave it just like this? Absolutely. There's text on the top, text on the bottom. That's default. So I'm going to go ahead, and I have to do this quickly. Otherwise, I'm going to try to hit control and stop them from talking. And my paste options is going to open. So I'm going to do this quickly. Control, shift, right arrow, applications key. Group object applications menu cut to move through items. W. Press up or down arrow T W leaving menus wrap, wrap text. text list box and line with text button okay. selected to move to a night. Now, it, as I go down arrow, the text is going to wrap around the picture. Square button. Okay, square. So you have text on the left side and the right side, top and bottom. Yep, it looks pretty cool. Tight button. Tight. It just literally forms directly around that square. So if you actually had an animal in there with a head and a tail, it would actually wrap around the head and the tail. Through button. 
through. You don't want through because you can't read the text. Top and bottom button. Top and bottom was basically what we had. Text on the top, text on the bottom. Behind text button. You don't want behind text either. Now I'm going to tell you, if you insert your picture and you change your transparency to really, really light, like I'll give you an example, Mother's Day, you could actually insert a picture of a rose which you would want to be eight by 11. And then you can change your transparency to very, very high. So like 95%. So the image is so light in the background and then a sighted person can read the dark text on top of it. That is a cool way to do it. And then of course you want behind text. So it's a great way to make cards. But I have a solid picture here, so I do not, do not want behind text. In front of text button. You also don't want it in front because, of course, you can't read it all. Menu, move with text, unavailable, fixed position, more layout options, dot, dot, More dot, layout L. options. What's really nice here is it's going to give you more options and it's going to allow you to go back to your size options to change the size of your um, image again. Leaving menu, so document, run that word, cancel button to activate, press space bar, and a bridge, okay. of course, so uh, you can go ahead and down arrow to all your other different types of wrap text wrapping text. tab selected to switch pages. Okay, and I'm going to tab in. In line with text radio button check. Right arrow. Square radio button check to change I'm the selection. Press up or down arrow. Alt plus that. Q. You can also wrap text if you continue to tab for both sides, left side, right side. Uh, so it has, and it also has the distance from the text in here. So it gives you more options, but I'm going to control tab to size. Size tab selected to switch pages. Press control. This is very important. So you understand your absolute values of your picture. So I'm going to tab in. Absolute radio button check. Absolute height. Edit combo 2.78. So it tells me it is 2.78 inches tall. That's still pretty, you know, it's almost three inches on a, a page that's eight by 11. That's pretty big. So if I changed that, what, I, what I really want to do is I want to lock aspect ratio also, but this gives you the ability to know exactly, exactly how large your picture is. So let's tab to width. Absolute radio button check. Absolute width. Edit combo 2.5 quote. So uh, my kids who totally get the pictures always say, well, where's the lock aspect ratio first? If you go to lost ac lock aspect ratio and check that box, it will always guarantee that that picture will be perfectly dimensional as you inserted it and you only have to change either height or width. It's all A or you have to tab a lot of times to get to it. Rotation colon edit combo zero degrees. You can also rotate it. So if you want this to really look cool, you could put it on an angle if you want to. Height colon edit combo 100%. A scale really tells us nothing. 100% of what? So that's the reason why we always want to tab to our absolute values. Width colon edit combo 100%. Lock aspect okay. ratio checkbox not checked. That's where we want to be, so we check that. Space checked. Now, if you were listening, our absolute height value was all E, so I'm going to pop back up there really quick. All E, absolute radio button checked to change. Yeah. Absolute height, edit combo, okay. 2.78 quote. So if I change this to 1.5, it will immediately adjust the width automatically for me. One, period, five. And tab Absolute up. radio button checked to change the selection. Absolute width, edit combo, 1.35 okay. quote to set the value, use the arrow key now to type Now I can go ahead and hit enter and the picture will adjust. Edit, group object, three, picture two, Perfect. this one, table now, with text wrapping, square, yep, keep table with escape, escape, escape. And now it has inserted perfect text, the top, left, and bottom really easily. Okay, so that is basically um, really how you can do images easily. Are there any questions? And if they're not, this will be uploaded to YouTube so you too can do more with images and learn how to insert them, find them, and download them. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Zoom to move Christmas tree. That meeting controls. Meeting control. Alta. Unmute my audio with left parent. Alt plus Alta. Audio now muted. Alt Q. And me enter. Audio now. And meeting for all.